Hello, this is Delia again. I am reading the Disney 365 Bedtime Stories. And this story is really, really cute. It's called Puppy Trouble. And I'm reading the date of October 30th, even though it's not October 30th. This was a really cute little thing, so I just wanted to read it. So I hope you enjoy it. Puppy Trouble. Nanny was watching all 15 Dalmatian puppies. Let's get Nanny to take us for a walk, Lucky said. Nanny turned and saw 15 puppies holding their leashes in their mouths. Oh, all right, little one, she said with a laugh when they reached the playground. Nanny unhooked their leashes and breathed a sigh of relief as the puppies scampered off to play. They were so busy playing that they didn't see Lucky chase a butterfly over the top of a wall and then disappear. Lucky landed in the back of a fire engine as it started speeding down the road. Woof, woof, Lucky barked. I'm a fire dog. Lucky enjoyed the ride, but he was glad that the fire engine had stopped. He knew that he had to get back to the playground, so he jumped down to the ground. A puppy, someone squealed. Lucky looked up and saw a little girl pushing a doll stroller. She stroked him. You can be my new dolly, the little girl said as she picked him up and put him in the stroller. Suddenly, the little girl spotted something on the ground. As she bent down to pick it up, Lucky jumped out and ran away as fast as he could. When he got back to the playground, Nanny and his siblings were just leaving. Nanny looked up at him as he approached her. Why, hello, little pup, she said to Lucky. Too bad you can't come home with us. You're not a Dalmatian. Lucky was confused, but then he spotted his reflection in a puddle. He was covered with dirt. Nanny didn't recognize him. Lucky looked around the park and had an idea. He ran over to some children who were playing in a fountain. The children giggled as the little Dalmatian splashed about with them, washing off all the dirt. Then Lucky ran home. He grinned as he spotted Nanny in front of the house, unhooking his brothers and sisters' leashes. He joined them just in time. Later, when Pongo and Perdita came home, they found Lucky sleeping in his basket. You see... Pongo whispered to Perdita, I told you nothing would go wrong. Oh, that was cute. Okay, now I'm going to read this one called Happy Halloween. This one's a monsters, and I figured it would be cute. So let's read this one. Happy Halloween. Boo, James P. Sullivan whispered, poking his head through the door. Hey, Boo, are you here? I came to wish you a happy Halloween, Boo. There was no answer. The big furry blue monster took one step into the quiet bedroom, then another. Sully sighed, his shoulders slumping. Oh, well, guess you're not here. Right now, he murmured. He couldn't help feeling disappointed. He'd been looking forward all day to visiting his favorite human child that evening. There was no Halloween in, in Monsta Monster Paul's. Well, I can't say it. Monstro Polis, Polius, but Sully knew that it was the day of the year when human kids actually like being scared. It seemed like a good day for a visit from a monster, especially a friendly monster. Sully yawned. Oh, well, I guess I could just sit down here and wait, he murmured. Sitting on the edge of Boo's bed, his eyes drooped and he leaned back on the bed and yawned again. Guess I could just rest my eyes for a little... Sully mumbled as he drifted off to sleep. The next thing Sully knew, a cool breeze was ticking, tickling his fur. He felt someone poking him in the foot. Not yet, Mike, he grunted. It's too early to get up for work. Uh, ah, oh. he had just opened his eyes. Instead of Mike's familiar round green body, he saw a ghost. And he shrieked and he leaped up and started to run out of the room to escape the horrifying, flapping white creature standing at the edge of the, edge of the bed. The ghost giggled. Kitty, it said happily. So he stopped in his tracks. Er, what did you say? Kitty, the ghost cried again. It reached up, grabbed its ghostly white hood, pulled it back from its face. When Sully saw what was under the hood, he broke into a smile. Suddenly, Sully felt very foolish. He completely forgotten that every Halloween, human children dress up in Halloween costumes and they try to scare each other. Ooh, he explained joyfully. 
reaching out to hug her. It's you. Happy Halloween, you little monster. Aw, that was cute. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a good day and there will be more.